Hi ladies, I wanted to create a little video on where, on basically how to find your printables from the Etsy shop, how to download them, unzip them, and open them with your silhouette and double check all your cut settings. These are questions that I'm frequently asked through Etsy messaging, so I really thought it would be helpful if I just created a video that went over some of the main things that I'm always um, getting asked. So the first thing is, I know this might sound simple for some of you, but occasionally I do get questions on where do I find my printables at. So what you're going to do is log into your Etsy account. And then upper right hand corner you're going to see a thing that says you, your account. You're going to click on that and you're going to scroll down here to purchases and reviews. Okay, here is where you're going to find orders that you've placed that are ready for download. Now you're going to click right here where it says ready to uh, download files. Now you might have to search through if you have a lot of more orders. I think I created this account specifically um, to show you how to do this. So you would have to um, find the order. You can search here, say you um, can search the name of the shop or maybe if you know that you bought something that was specific to a certain you know, season, maybe fall, you could search it and see if it would filter it easier for you. Go ahead and click on your downloads. It's going to give you some information and then it's going to give you your files. So you'll just download all the files that you need. This is an older set. Now I have two zips so all the PDFs usually come in a zip file together and all the cut files come together in a separate file. Um, sometimes they're together, it just depends. So you'll download and depending on what browser or system you're using it might pop up down here. I'm using um, Google Chrome so once this finishes downloading, we're going to open our downloads and we're going to find it. Now you can do this two ways. You can click on this little arrow and click on show in folder and it's going to open up this folder and highlight it for you. If you have Windows 10, all you need to do is see this right here up here. It says compressed folder tools. You'll just hit extract and then you'll extract all and it will pop up and say where is the destination that you want to extract these files to you can change it if you want to save them um, I like to keep everything I extract to a specific location on an external drive so I would just click purchase to select folder and then extract it now it is going to open it when it's done And then here we are. So now we have the files. Okay. So that is how you find your downloads, download them, and unzip them. I don't have a Mac, so I can't tell you how to do it for that. I am assuming it's probably somewhat similar. I, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to close all these windows. And I'm going to open some files that I just created that I want to um, show you guys how you can set up your cut files. So I'm going to go ahead and what you want to do is you want to double click on your folder on the file and it should open it in Silhouette Studio. If you have Silhouette Studio I should say. Okay another way is to go into Silhouette Studio, go to File, click Open, you're going to have to um, go to the file that you want to open wherever you have it stored and then click on it this way. I find it's easier whichever way you want to do it. Okay, so now we have a couple open here. What you want to do, the first thing always when you first open up a file, no matter what, you want to make sure that all the settings are correct. Now I am using Silhouette Studio version 4.1. If you are not, I highly recommend that you update because the files will not, 
print and oh, they'll print they just won't cut um, if they're so let's say I created this file using Silhouette 4.0 you download it you have 3.0 or old, an older version you can open it but it's not going to register the cut lines and you'll have to copy and paste and redo everything to get it to work but if you have 4.1 you open it I try to set all the files correctly but you should always double check them because you remember I'm creating like 10 files for 10 or more files for one set and it's very easy for me to skip or miss one file so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you have your registration marks on you see them right here so this is good if you print without them it is not going to cut correct it won't register because there are no registration marks the second thing you're going to do is here for the cutting mat you need to make sure that the cutting mat is, sele is selected correctly for the machine that you have you either have a portrait or you have a cameo Damn. Sorry about that. And then the letter size, um, the size, I choose letter. I find that um, if you're in another country, I've if I was using current printer settings, uh, people were having issues with the file sizes being different. So I started choosing letter and it seems that that setting is working well for anyone. And you're gonna go to this last tab here that says um, registration marks. You're going to choose your registration marks to make sure they are at type 1 unless you have an original silhouette then you'll need type 2. Okay. The next thing that you want to do is click on the send. You want to make sure that it is in line right here not on simple, not on fill or layer it needs to be on line. You want to make sure that only the red line is selected and that it says sticker paper white. You would choose your um, cut setting. You might need to switch if you have an auto blade or ratchet blade depending or if you're using a deep clip. I have a cameo so mine's going to be set to auto blade. Okay, so here under sticker paper white cut, you can adjust the settings for your blade. So you can just hit this little button here to the sides to choose the one that you have it on. The speed is how fast it's going to cut. Honestly, I never change this personally, but if you're having issues with cutting around delicate little items and it's bending the sides or cutting funny then you want to bump that speed down. All right now they've changed where it used to say thickness now it says force. This is how deep it's going to cut your paper. If you have it set too high it's going to cut all the way through and you're going to have a hard time um, one it's going to make confetti out of your stickers and cut completely through the paper or it's going to cut too deep and you're going to have a hard time pulling it off because it's going to want to pull the backing with it. So you need to adjust this to depending on what kind of paper you have. Um, what kind of paper you're using, using, I should say. What your blade is set to. And how old your blade is. You should frequently change them and clean them. So it's really going to be up to you to test cut and see what settings you need. I leave everything on default and then I change the force to, t to about a 9 to 10 and that works good for me. You want to make sure this is on 1. We only want it to make one pass. If you make it on 2 it's going to cut twice and you'll end up with confetti. Alright. So then you'll want to do the same thing. You want to check your mat, everything that we just did. Go to send. Make sure that these are all on sticker paper. Check your, it should default and keep the settings that you changed. Now if you have settings and you like them, you can save as. 
and save it so you don't have to keep redoing them. So then instead of um, what's it doing? So and then you could just choose instead of sticker paper white you would have to choose the settings that you saved which would be at the very bottom. And these are going to be user defined and as you see I have it on this one. Alright, so I think that is all that I wanted to cover on how to find them, unzip them, and double check your cut settings. So if you are using 3.0 and you want and you're not sure how to update, you can do this two ways. You can go to help and you can click on check for updates. And it's gonna open up a window and it should check to see if you have the latest version of Silhouette Studio. And I don't see it coming up anywhere. Of course, right? <laughs> Another way you can always just click on About Silhouette Studio and it's going to tell you what version you have. Then you can just open up SilhouetteStudioAmerica.com. Let's see. So we can see both of them. And then you'll click on update software. You'll go down here to current version and you'll want to see it's 4.1201 and that's what I have. I would not recommend that you download a beta version. Like I said, if you're using older versions, they are under legacy and those are the ones that are not going to cut correctly with my new files. If you are afraid to update and you absolutely don't want to and you still want to use them what you're gonna need to do is open up a new file you can go open or file new then go back to the file you want right click select all right click copy go to the new file right click paste then you'll want to set your registration marks make sure you're cutting mats correct go to send and then you'll want to click on line make sure just the red lines are selected choose your make sure it's on sticker paper mine defaulted to that since it was the last setting I had used and then you should be able to register now that they're all like this red color if it wasn't um, If these red lines are not showing up as, you know, pretty brightly red, that means it's an area that's not going to cut. So let's say, let's just move this one over here. See how this is missing? It's not going to cut that banner right there because the cut line's gone. So if you see one that's missing, you could always right click on this one, go back to design right click on it, copy, or you can do the replicate, it's probably easier. Go to the replicate and just hit over and then just use your arrow button to kind of put it back over where it should have been. And then when you go to send you'll see that the lines back. If you have any questions please leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks guys!